Then speaking of the game starting, the game has started. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are jumping in in the middle of Guru Skippy versus Choco Bambus. Choco Bambus. Uh, this is going to be game two. Uh, Choco, as you can see, is the Warp Spider Exarch. As usual, Mr. Guru Skippy playing the Commando Knob. I'm Harlequin, five star. What's going on with you today? I'm just looking at Choco Bambus' colors right now. He is quite pink and purple indeed. He is very, very pinkish. It's got a little bit of green in there, too. Pink. Uh, a little, some highlights. Let's see what the army painter says about that. He's got some red dots on him. I'm just going to zoom in on his uh, guardians here. Uh, yes, our army color painting choice. Very, very key. I do like the fact that the pinkish kind of matches his red on the screen, so it's, it's easier for my brain to keep track of who's who. Uh, anyhow, uh, everybody's just kind of spreading on out. I pretty much always see War Spider Exarch uh, dodge his way all the way out to that victory point on the right-hand side of the map uh, when that is the case. But uh, yeah, Commando Knob versus uh, Warp Spider Exarch. So you're the resident uh, orc player amongst us. Uh, what, are, what, are, what are your thoughts on that matchup in terms of like what the uh, Commando Knob brings to the equation? Well, the Commando Knob brings, as you can see right here, he's got 100% fire and the move accuracy on his weapon. Uh, it's a pretty good damage per second weapon. Actually, if you compare it straight up to the uh, Warp Spider Exarch's range weapon, I think it's about the same damage per second right now. It'll be superior in the upcoming patch. Uh, so basically, he can kind of duke it out with the WC from range thing, though, is the burst damage from uh, the Warp Spider Exarch tends to be a little bit more, u you know, uh, more usable because of the um, the whole regenerating health over time sort of deal. Uh, but nonetheless, though, uh, both relatively evenly matched heroes in that department. And you're also going to see, because of the 100% fire on the move, you're going to see a lot of uh, the commander now forcing melee so you can basically chase something, fire that at them in range, just like you would see a Chaos Lord or something like that doing and um, then actually get up to them and do decent damage in melee. Uh, he doesn't do, he doesn't have a melee special attack like the War Spider Exarch does, but uh, you know, he still does good damage. Um, so in the meantime, what we're basically seeing here is a pretty standard opening from Guru Skippy. He's gonna go with 2x Big Shooters, and um, he's gonna utilize those 2x Big Shooters to ride as economically as he can. Now he could prove me wrong, but it, but this is what I would assume to see from him. To use these two X-Big Shooters to ride as economically as he can into Tier 2, get a War Truck or Commandos or something where he can really deal with those Rangers that Choco Bambus just got out. Because up until then, there isn't much that the Orc can really do to deal with Rangers. Uh, they can get the Shooter Knob if they want, uh, which will detect the Rangers and allow them to kind of get up there and do some damage. But it tends to not be very economical because, uh, you know, the Banshees tend to be able to support the Rangers, tend to be very tough to get close enough in and, you know, still have enough members to not risk getting squad wiped, all kinds of stuff like that. So if you just uh, make use of the fact that you're going to be spending less power, uh, you tend to be better off. So we already have Rangers out in the field right now uh, for Choco, uh, all the way up top where we're shooting in. We saw an interesting kind of dynamic uh, at the opening moves of this game where Choco's forces spread out and went left and right kind of around the map, and uh, we saw Guru Skippy just kind of dive right straight through the center. And so now the, uh, the victory points and uh, control of the nodes kind of all over the place is, is just kind of uh, patchwork as they all kind of traded everything there. Got a nice little epic showdown going on here between the Commando Knob and the Warp Spider Exarch over by this victory point. Uh, bright pink Warp Spider Exarch there. Yeah, so uh, what we saw in the beginning was kind of um, what you'll see happen in this matchup again. You know, I kind of talked a little bit about it. Um, but uh, Choco was very content there. He just wanted to get his rangers out. He put his generators up. Uh, the only reason why they were up there was to get the rangers out. He basically, he was paying an extra, like, maybe 225 requisition on rangers was basically what he did. You know, he just put the generators up, knew that they were going to die, accepted they were going to die, and uh, that was that. You know, there was nothing else to it. Um, you know, he just wanted to get those up and out. That was all. All there was. All she wrote, I guess, I suppose. And uh, took control of the map in as many other ways as he possibly could while that was happening. Yeah, he's definitely winning in terms of victory points right now. He's about to grab his second one, and and we will see pretty soon here if the colors are correct. I haven't looked yet. Uh, but, oh, they definitely are because it's 500 right now to 376 yeah. for Choco. Uh, so that's looking pretty good. More towards the center, we can see the <laughs> all the shooter boys here just standing around putting some pressure on those They're guards. Gonna watch the Banshees. They're going to have to get out of there. Banshee's moving on in uh, with the and Rangers sniping got away. Aiming what's down. <laughs> He's suppressing them. He's going to keep pounding away at them. Very nice focus fire here by Choco, by the way. Uh, because what happens with the aim and what's that is, um, you know, we'll suppress the squad. But the squad that is using aim and what's that does no damage at all, yep. right? 
Uh, and so what we saw he was doing was that with his Rangers, he was focus firing the squad that was not using Amin What's That, because particularly in this instance, because uh, Guru Skippy had already used Amin What's That with the other squad earlier, uh, so he didn't have another Amin What's That to burn. It was still on cooldown, the other squad. And so therefore, he was actually decreasing the total DPS that was coming in his advantage. It's a very good job. We see, though, Guru Skippy teching way, 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 way ahead of Choco Bambus. And this is exactly what I said was going to happen. Guru Skippy is going to take some losses from the snipers and the rangers. Um, and he's, there's not much he's going to be able to do about it. But he's going to keep his own generators. Uh, he's going to accept the requisition losses. And he's going to push as much as he can. Um, he's going to just get to tier 2. And that's where his real solutions are. War Truck, Death Dread, what are you thinking? Uh, war Truck is the most standard response. It's, you know, usually to get a shoot a knob and put it in the War Truck, we'll deal with those Rangers right quick. Uh, but at this point, he's so far ahead that uh, if he recognizes how far ahead he is, he could go with a Death Dread. It's a little risky, though, because Eldar have a lot of good ways to deal mm -hmm. with that in terms of, uh, especially Warp Spider Exarch. Yep. You know, just using the call and getting the Warp Spiders out. Uh, getting Haywire out immediately, just go Haywire, kaboom, and uh, immediately you can be looking at a very dead Death Dread. Yeah, so the combination of the War Spider Exarch and the Rangers still inflicting heavy casualties here, but as you said, uh, I think Guru Skippy is just going to cruise on into mid game, uh, accepting what he will from this. Uh, yeah, but like here comes the War Truck. There is the War Truck. All right, I love you know I, I say this practically every game, but I love good War Truck play. I have a I have a fine appreciation for that. Oh, very nice stun bomb placement by Guru Skippy there on the Banshees. Uh, that will actually allow him to back out, stealth away with his commando knob, <laughs> and uh, get some distance, although he's uh, just kind of standing here. He doesn't have a lot of energy, though, to just stand there, so he's got to get a lot of distance here if he wants to do something there. Worst better, Exarch backing out of the center, having just exchanged blows uh, with a couple of those Slugger Boys. Slugger Boys upgrading to Flamers right now. <clears throat> They will and probably look to be, uh, if, um, depends on if Guru Skippy is here, is going to go for the, uh, for commandos or not. But if he's not going for commandos, we probably will see those, uh, Verna Sluggos here go for some hide the boys and, uh, go ahead and hit some ge generators. But also, we're seeing they're going right into the war truck as well, so they can go ahead and counter the rangers better because they're going to be able to chase them better mm -hmm. with the Vernas. And also, the war truck can just kind of get behind enemy lines at random times and drop off yeah. for some, uh, some harass. Super um, super mobility there. By the way, we also have a special shooter up right now for the command. Yeah, lab. and that is absolutely huge because uh, that will tear right through those banshees. High explosive shells, a great ability to just massacre banshees. Achoko is a new fan of that. Uh, we actually saw Tex put that to great usage um, not too long ago. I'm trying to remember what event that was. Um, I don't oh, mind about it. Was in wasn't it in in your uh, pre-release event? Actually, I believe is what it was. Aha! That sounds familiar. I have goldfish <laughs> memory when it comes to casting thousands of replays. I just I just move right on. But yeah, uh, moving on in here, speaking of which, we got the War Spider Exarch now being swamped by all of those boys jumping out of the war truck right there. Uh, doing a lot of damage. You can see everybody's pulling back, although we do have the Rangers still sort of on the field there a little bit. Uh, they're probably going to stop and set up again and maybe try and set up a defense on this power grid right here. Uh, but yeah, we do have that war truck just kind of clown carring its way around the map right now. Yeah, in the meantime, we are seeing that uh, Guru Skippy is doing his best that he can here to go ahead and recapture his victory points. It's a little bit of a mistake with the Sluggus here. They're attacking this power node in melee. They just back off in a range mode. Uh, yeah, they'll be able to burn burners. it down much faster, yeah. Uh, but they still get it down pretty quickly, and they're going to go ahead and decap. Um, they can't really push into the power generators here without the shoot of support at the moment. Um, just a little too dangerous, a little too much attrition to take right now. By the way, Choco is almost tier 2. He's got a pretty good amount of requisition and power here. He's going to be able to get whatever he wants to get in Tier 2. So, I mean, we're going to see what he decides to go with and the here. And th the thing to always remember about Choco is that he does not, like, at least in the, in the really cool games that I've seen him play, he doesn't win by destroying his enemy. He wins by bleeding you out of victory points. And so, yeah. uh, Guru's got to be aware of that because he is far, far behind at this point. Uh, Choco does have twice as many uh, points as he does. However, it is now 2-0 to, uh, two to zero in Guru's favor, uh, Skippy's favor. So, uh, But he's just got to keep that in mind in the back of his head that... Uh, that Choco always always has his eye on the prize in terms of bleeding out his opponent using the mobility of the Autark and the Warp Spider Exarch and that sort of thing. Uh, Autark, uh, I would expect on the field at some point here. Yeah, he. Um, it's actually kind of surprising. He does seem to have the. Is, is she? They didn't upgrade to 200 right now, did she? Ooh, very nice high explosive shells there by the Commando Knob down on those Helling Banshees, forcing them to retreat instantly. Uh, as I kind of mentioned, Choco, no fan of that. Um, but nonetheless, a very effective here for Guru Skippy. It's going to help him maintain map control against those Banshees. Um, nice thing about this war truck here that really helps deal with the Rangers is that 
Uh, the orcs are capable here of uh, just kind of accepting this bleed at this point in the game uh, and just kind of reinforcing from the truck is what you're going to see him do here. 